Hola, hi, it's me, Taylor again. Welcome to Wearable Art Week. I hope you all had fun last week with dyeing your paper and fabric and everything turned out great, I'm sure. This week we are going to work on sculptures for our bodies. These sculptures should be very imaginative and personal. So think about how you're feeling inside. Let's start with that. It can be how you're feeling in your heart, what you're thinking about in your head, or what is in your dreams. There's a worksheet in your box that'll help you brainstorm these ideas. Next, use the figure drawing pages and draw at least 10 designs, hopefully more. Be very inventive and creative about what types of structures you can build and who you want to be. Maybe it's a character, maybe it's you, and the goal is that if you were to be wearing this piece of art walking down the street, people will know how you're feeling, or who you are, or who you want to be. I will show different techniques of how to build with recyclables, and also how to apply paint and color and pattern to the surface of your project. This is very important in fashion, the repeated pattern or multiples and polka dots or stripes, etc. So add those to your projects along with text and anything else you that might represent how you're feeling. To start any headpiece, you can use this simple structure. Tie plastic bags to fit around your head. Depending on your design, you will add attachments to this structure. Next, if your design includes things coming off the top of your head, add a plastic bag going across and you'll be able to attach decoration off of that. My design idea was to make a hat in a cloud shape. You can try this as well. Blow air into plastic bags and tape around the ends. Tie or tape your bags onto your headpiece. Do not make a design that has plastic covering your face. This is dangerous. Tie across the top as well. You don't have to make a basic cloud shape. You can use this to make any form you want. I'm making a puffy cloud that's sort of rainy with gray bags. I'll keep taping and tying until I'm satisfied with the shape. Twist parts of a plastic bag to make flower shapes. Tape the bottom. If you have a tail end sticking off, you can cut them into leaves. Here is one way to use your box. When you know your design, use a marker to show where you will cut. There are many structures and shapes you can make with your cardboard.
When you have a piece cut out, experiment by putting it on different parts of your body. You might find an idea that you didn't have before. Try to use as much of your board as possible. When you cut out a shape, the scraps can be used to build something else. Remember to be imaginative. Maybe you feel like a Venus flytrap. Maybe <laughs> you feel silly. Maybe you feel like a monster. As new ideas come, your design might change, and that's okay. A great way to build with cardboard that I'd like everyone to try is cutting slits and then pushing the pieces together. Play around with different materials, things that you find around you, things from nature, old toys, or other recyclables like milk jugs or soda cans. When you have your shapes cut, we're going to mix glue with water to make a paste. Use your paintbrush to paint on your coffee filters or tissue paper that you made last week. Use the paper to cover places that you may have had tape. These green filters I dyed remind me of lily pads. You can cut pictures from magazines, cut words from them, or letters, anything you'd like to add to your wearable art collage. Don't be afraid to layer. Have fun and be experimental with your paper and its texture. My cousin Haley will now show us how to make flowers with your tissue paper.
tape or use wire if you have it. In design, using multiples of something is always good. So Haley is attaching multiple flowers to make a bigger statement. Take your work a step further by adding details like text. Not all flowers are the same shape. Add variation. Use other recyclables as well. I was inspired by this bubble wrap that looked like a snake. Some questions to consider while working are, what are other ways that you could use these materials and techniques? And how do clothes express how we feel and who we are? Thank you for participating. Remember to share your photos and contact me with any questions. I'll be available.